guys and welcome back to another video. I hope everyone had a great Christmas. The video I made about a month ago about whether or not the C6 Corvette was a good daily driver did very, very well and you guys really enjoyed it. So I wanted to follow that video up with the video talking about whether or not this car is practical. Is the C6 Corvette practical? So that's what we're gonna get into today. into the meat of the video I wanted to go ahead and share this with you guys um, if you want a free t-shirt free gentlemen's driving club t-shirt long sleeve short sleeve in order to be entered to win that you have to go to gentlemen's driving club.com give us your email you'll be notified as soon as the store launches which tentative date is going to be uh, January 5th that's gonna be tentative date uh, but that's when the site will launch and everything will be available for purchase. If you give us your email, we'll shoot you out a notification when the store launches and you'll automatically be entered to win a free t-shirt. If you want a long sleeve like the one I'm wearing right now, or if you want a short sleeve, we can do that either way. But once you enter your email, you're automatically entered to win a free t-shirt. So, you know, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, so just go to the website. I'll leave it linked down below. But without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, with that out of the way, the first thing we're going to be talking about is drivability. So as far as the Corvette's drivability, honestly, it has been damn near perfect uh, for the most part. You know, it has its flaws like we talked about in the previous video. Uh, but for the most part, you know, you can drive this car pretty much anywhere, just like any other car. Um, the things that I would say are negative is that it's so low to the ground that... You know, driveways, it's really hard not to scrape. I would say as far as drivability goes, man, this thing is filthy. Look at this. I've been driving a lot and it's been raining and all dirt. Look at this, man. That is horrible. I can't even believe I'm filming a video with it this dirty. But I'll definitely have to get her cleaned up. It's just been really, really shitty weather here in Texas. And that's kind of what's causing it. But drivability, you know, I haven't had too, too many issues. I've driven it um, in the snow already because it snowed here in Texas. Uh, a couple weeks ago and it actually did very very well in the snow to be honest and in the storm and the rain it does fairly well um it is a bit scary just because it's so low to the ground so you literally fill everything uh, but other than that you know drivability has been great so on a scale of one to five i'm gonna have to give drivability um i'm gonna have to give it a four you know and that's a strong rating i only took away one point because of the scraping all the time uh, but other than that very very good fun drivable car uh, moving on to the next one, we're talking about space. So as far as space goes, you know, this is a two-door um, two door coupe. So it's not a sedan. It doesn't have a ridiculous amount of space. And, you know, it's got your driver's seat, your passenger seat, and then your hatch. Other than that, there's not really much space. You've got glove compartment, which is fairly big, um, but not definitely not the biggest I've seen. Then you've got, you know... Bucky's go to Bucky's all the time. Um, you got your little coin holder and everything like that. Come in here. You got your center center console, and you know enough space to put some goodies in, but nothing crazy. Um, holders on the doors, and then you've got the hatch. So that's pretty much all the space you have. So when I say it's a ridiculous amount of space, obviously not. Um, but it does the job for me. So as far as space goes between one and five, I'd probably give it a three. Um, it's plenty of space for me, but 
if we're just, you know, trying to gauge everyone's definition of space, I'd say it's probably a three out of five for sure. Um, you can definitely find a lot. You can find a lot of cars with way more space, even sports cars. The third thing we're going to be talking about is seating. So seating. So we'll go ahead and get in the driver's seat for this because that only makes sense, right? So seating wise, you've got plenty of foot space right here, okay? I'm six foot, six one on a good day, and I've got plenty, plenty, plenty of space here. As you can see, I can stretch my legs out all the way, no issues, I'm not scrunched or anything like that. I'm in a normal driving position and everything's great. Um, passenger seat, just the same. The leather that came in these C6s is very comfortable. They call this an old, man, old man's car and I can definitely feel why, and I'm not ashamed to uh, call it that because man, these seats are comfortable. I've gone on, as you guys know, I go to Houston all the time, and I've gone on many road trips in this vehicle, and I have never been more comfortable in a sports car. Like, the Mustang was very comfortable, but I have to admit, after a couple hours, I really just like found myself moving around and just not super, super comfortable. In this, I've never had that issue. It's been a dream driving it. Uh, four hours to Houston, four hours back. It's been no problem. So as far as seating goes, I give it an A+. Uh, the only downside to the seating is that there's only two seats. Um, so for that, we're going to give it a four out of five. On the scale, taking away one point just because there are no back seats. You only have two seats. All right, so next thing we're going to be talking about is reliability. So I've had this car. I bought it at about 86,000 miles currently sitting at about 92,000 miles so I have put 6,000 miles on it wow in just the last couple months uh, that's crazy I've been driving a lot a lot a lot and I didn't even realize until I just said that figure how much I'd actually been driving but it has been very reliable the only things I have done to the vehicle since I got it you know um, maintenance wise was we changed the rotors we went to some drilled slotted rotors new brake pads um, on the rears the fronts were still good and then what else have I done um, I had to change the brake fluid and I think the power steering fluid and that's about it other than that I haven't had to do anything to it and uh, that's that's pretty impressive for uh, a car that this that's this old and um, as many miles as I've put on it in a short period of time I'd say that's pretty good as far as maintenance go. I will have to get an oil change. Um, my little reading is saying I have 27% oil life. So that's going to happen here in the next week or two. As soon as I get a day off and um, that'll be done. But as far as reliability, I'm giving it a 5 out of 5. 100%. Uh, the thing's great. Alright guys, so we've been over drivability, space, seating, and reliability. And... Out of everything, you know, overall, I would say this vehicle is phenomenal. I definitely think that the, the C6 is a practical vehicle, okay? Um, obviously, it's not going to be as practical as a sedan or a minivan or something like that. But when it comes to a two-door sports car, I would say that this is fairly practical. And in my estimation, for my needs, my daily driving, it has done me very well and been very practical for me. You know, a lot of times when people think about practical sports cars or practical cars in general, uh, a Corvette is the last thing they think about. And whenever I tell people I have a Corvette, they just think it's the most impractical thing in the world. But when you actually get in here and you actually daily drive it, um, if you can ever get a Corvette as a rental car, I don't know of any place that actually does that. But, um, you know, they have those higher end rental car places. I would definitely consider doing it. If you have a couple days where you're in Miami or in a different city or whatever, certainly you know rent a corvette see what it's like um the driving experience is great the space is great i think it's very practical honestly but that's really all i have for the video i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope it made your decision to purchase or rent a c6 corvette a lot better um hit the bell icon so you can be notified every time i upload a video we are closely reaching 600 subscribers so i want to thank each and every one of you for that share this video with your friends leave a like leave a comment tell me what you guys think about the practicality of the c6 um, and as always, go beyond expectations.